Hey everybody, it's Jason Shadrick with PremierGuitar.com. We're at the Summer NAMM show here in Nashville, and I'm with Boot here with B.A. Ferguson. You're going to tell us about this acoustic tremolo we just heard Lance play. Yeah, so my buddy Pretus here invented this uh, just over 10 years ago, wrote it down on paper, and uh, years later met me, had already the patent process going, he's got five patents on it, basically gave me a stack of papers and said, let's make this happen. So we did, you know, and, and uh, it took a little, uh, a good bit of elbow grease, but we made it work. Uh, this is the second prototype, it uh, sounds really good, we're working on a third one now uh, that we'll have ready in September, but uh, yeah, no, Prentice is the man, he's, uh, you know, he's got a real mechanical mind and everything, and when he set out to, uh, you know, he wanted an acoustic with a tremolo, yeah. and, and he just said, you know, that, that uh, mother, uh, uh, what's that? Basically, got tired of looking. Need, need, need is the, the the need is the mother of uh, invention, or necessity is the mother of invention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just one of those things where you know, for many years, I, you know, many guitars I've seen with tremolo system on like electrics, and I researched it, and nobody had them for acoustic guitars. And then I built electrics for in the past, so I said, well, I know there's got to be a way to do one for acoustic yeah. guitar. So I designed a self-contained stress system that attached to the soundboard, and then I got up with boot and showed them the drawings and everything, my little homemade prototype I made, and then we got in the shop and kind of put the magic together, and yeah, the rest of it has been history ever since, and this is the first one, and that's the second one. Um, like you said, we're building a third one, and we're also looking down the line to do one for a 12-string guitar, an acoustic bass version, and possibly a nylon string down the line, but we've already had some inquiries from some um, serious musicians that inquiring about them and wants to uh, definitely look into wanting one of those and uh, it's pretty cool I mean a few people's played it I'll name off just a few people uh, guys like Steve Fye played this one they had a little they had a great time playing it uh, Dave Mustaine Chris Braddock from Megadeth Trap Shinedown Filter Tesla I mean John Waite Little River Band just the list goes on and on and on and people have seen this thing so it's really cool man so so when do you think uh, you're shooting for availability on these oh uh, pretty much uh, by the end of the year okay. something like that yeah once we've gotten the final uh, workings down uh, we're, we're gonna be doing some uh, replacement of some of the materials in there with the uh, carbon fiber and things like that yep. but so far it's worked great it's a uh, the way it works, it's not like a Bigsby or a, or a Strat Trem or anything like that. It's actually a self-contained uh, cube that supplements the existing uh, X-Brace. Um, and so it, it, it redistributes all the string and the spring pressure and, uh, re you know, basically keeps the top from caving in, you yeah. know, when you're really yanking on it and everything. So. And can these be retrofitted to almost any acoustic? Or? Uh, right now they can't. Uh, only reason being, no one wants to take their you know beautiful Martin or anything like that and, and wants to put a hole in it right now. You know, it's it's better to just build a thing around it. Um, but uh, we're working on a couple of ideas for a retrofit as well. So. And where can people go online to find out more information about these? Uh, you can go to bafergusonguitars.com. We've got a, uh, a link on there, a snippet, uh, talking all about the, the FAT system. It's the Pretus Hendrix Acoustic Tremolo System is the acronym. So, um, But yeah, they can go on there and, and check it out. And do you have any kind of rough estimate for a price point that would be? Yeah, uh, right now it's going to be a, uh, a $550 upgrade on any acoustic that we make. Um, and uh, you know, as far as the, our acoustics go, they range in price from twenty five hundred to thirty five hundred, depending on how fancy you want to get. Sure. So yeah, it, it'll be a decent upgrade. Yeah. All right, Boot. Thank you so much for talking to yeah. us. Thank you, sir. Right. This is Jason Shadrick with PremierGuitar.com, and Lance, why don't you play a little more for us?